Are you smooching him, Autumn? You guys are silly. Busby, you flirt. Hey, piggy people. So we went to the vet for the first time this year already. So I'm going to share about that. First, I just wanted to show you each of the cages. So this is the herd's cage. We have Huckle, Veda Velvet, Reese, and Raisin. Everybody's doing very well. Veda is the cheekiest pig I think I've ever had. Super cute and playful, but also very sassy. So she keeps everybody on her toes. She's very cheeky to Raisin because Raisin's kind of the pig just above her. So Raisin has to make sure she keeps Veda in check. So she's really cheeky for just like trying to push the other pigs out of spots like where they're sleeping or if they're drinking water or sometimes she nips them in the butt if she wants them to move where they're eating hay. She gets herself into trouble but she's very fun. Nobody gets too mad so don't worry. Just playful pigginess but sometimes the pigs give her a look of like, are you for real? They're all so cute. And I'm so thankful that Reese, who was having the problems eating, has been eating excellent. Back to her usual self of laying in hay piles for hours just chewing away. So that's so nice. So this is the trio's cage. So the pig closest to me is Annabelle. Then we got Annalise and then Busby's in the tunnel there. These guys are doing so awesome. They're so calm and sweet together. Buzz still does rumbling of the ladies sometimes which they get a little irritated about but never anything nasty and they are the absolute cutest for sleeping so many times annabelle will be squished beside like say that tunnel on the right and then buzz will be in it so they're like kind of pancake together with some fleece in between though but it's so cute it, nothing is cuter than knowing how much he gets along with these girls it's really hard to see him in the hay there. Sweetest little boy and there's so many times where he's popcorning and doing little laps and squeaking and squawking, having a great time. So it's really nice that he ended up here and worked out perfectly with them. So next is Angus and Autumn. So Angus is actually the piggy who had to go to the vet. So he has not been feeling great and we have lost some weight. So I'll tell you first um, his signs that something was the matter. Just maybe it'll help some people because it wasn't like your typical signs. It was a bit weird. So Angus's personality, just so you know for context for the story, is he's friendly but he never seeks out my attention. Like if I come in the room, he doesn't really pay attention. It's just if you have something for him, he'll come over and take it. It's not a pig that's really like snuggly or wants to be pet or anything like that. So he started coming up to the bars every time I came into the room, just like all in a panic. Didn't matter like what side of the cage I was on, he'd come flying, be like climbing the bars, chewing the bars, just like asking for my attention. And it kind of threw me off because I thought, okay, this is weird. Like, what can I do for you, little buddy? Like, what's the matter? And then he started doing chewing of the coroplast. Any part of the coroplast that was open, like without having plexiglass covering it, he was destroying it and wouldn't stop. And if like I'd chew him away, he'd go right back to finding another spot. So I ended up like covering coroplast, you'll see, like with liners and stuff. And like he'd even like move the liners to chew and chew. So the only times I've ever found that my pigs are like chewing and destroying stuff was if they were stressed or uncomfortable. And then also on top of that he was losing weight and he started to be very picky with eating hay or even just drinking his water. So obviously I took him to the vet and I just really had no clue what was going on with him why all of a sudden he was being weird. 
So after his full exam, they found that he has an ulcer on the top of his tongue. So like an ulcer, like a sore or a cut, it's hard to tell exactly, but on the top of his tongue that obviously is causing him great discomfort and affecting his eating. So my vet said like it looked like something to her that either he got a chemical burn or she thought, did he chew a cord and get like an electrical burn? So I was like, well goodness, no, there's no cords that he could have got. And as for chemicals, like I couldn't think of a thing that he would have had access to being in his cage, right? So all I could think would be like laundry detergent, but I've never seen a spot on the fleece that was left after being washed and dried, so I have no idea. So she didn't have any ideas beyond that because she said looking at his teeth like everything looked normal and it wasn't on a part of his tongue where she would assume he would be biting his tongue or it wasn't a part of his tongue where if he had like a spur it would be cutting it. So she really didn't know. So she gave him some sub-Q fluids because he was dehydrated and not eating the best. Sorry, he just walked out of the frame. And then we were sent home with antibiotics, pain meds, like the Medicam that's a pain med slash anti-inflammatory. And then he's also on Cisapride because he was kind of starting to go into stasis. Like his stomach was slowing because he wasn't eating properly. Because he would just eat a couple strands of hay and then that would be it. He was done with it. So I've been hand feeding him extra. And tonight, now that we're back from the vet, he's been drinking and he's been eating a bit more hay. Like he's still pretty picky. Like he'll eat for maybe a couple minutes and then leave, which the normal for the pigs every morning and night after I tidy them up, they'll sit in the hay pile for like an hour or more just chewing away. So he's gone to bed. We'll just look at somebody else. So we're supposed to do two weeks of antibiotics and he gets the Cisapride and pain meds for five days. And then we'll see how it goes. So she said the tongue should heal very quickly. There's lots of good blood flow to the tongue. So with antibiotics, everything should heal up quick. The only concerns, like it would need to be investigated further, is if it's not healing, then I assume he'd have to be put out for them to open his mouth wide and see if there's something that keeps hitting it. But she said she couldn't see anything. Or I guess the other like worst case scenario would be if that was like a cancer. So obviously we're hoping that it's some kind of random thing that happened and it's going to heal up and be great. So yeah, there's always something. This is something new I've never had to deal with before. And of course it's Angus. If anybody doesn't know the story of Angus is he's a pretty crazy guy, has some random things always happening to him. So he's my piggy that almost jumped out of the cage because he was so excited for his veggies. He landed right on top of here. It was terrifying. Uh, he had hay stuck in his ear canal. He had a chew toy stuck in his mouth. He broke off a nail. Day after his neuter, he jumped into another guinea pig's pen. Uh, he's a pretty wild boy. And now he has a sore tongue. So I'm hoping it'll heal up quick and he'll be comfortable enough to be eating more on his own very soon. Angus is going to be four in February, which is hard to believe because he still seems just like a little baby pig. So now my oldest pig is Huckle. Huck will be five this year, which is kind of hard to believe. Reese is going to be four in March. Uh, Velvet's gonna be four, not till I think it's October. And then Raisin will be five in November. Isn't that wild? And like the sisters will be five in November. Little baby Veda. Is it gonna be a year until September? She's so cute. And then Autumn is going to be three in September. So crazy. Oh, and Buzz, he'll be a year in April. Yeah, so this is this is our old man now who thankfully is doing great.
still super active, still has a very healthy weight. All his muscle mass is still there, which is great. Because you know when piggies get senior, they often get a little bony in their hip area. That's one way you kind of know that they're getting older. I just love these pigs. Who else could just sit there and watch their pigs eat all day? I love the sounds and I love seeing them all comfortable and happy and well fed. It's so sweet. You guys are all so adorable. Veda's eating like a little queen that she is. Has her own hay pile. So I bought more of these little utility shelves from Walmart. They're mainstay utility shelves so they work awesome for the piggies to have an extra hide super easy if you needed to clean them hard plastic and there's no edges where they can grab and try and chew and I think they make for a really great hide especially if you had piggies who are more dominant or anything like that because there's nowhere to get stuck and it's working out great for Buzz so that this middle section of the cage has a bit more coverage for him to feel safe and secure but you can still see and it's well ventilated. He still can be nervous when you're moving around the cage too quickly but he does really great for watching the girls so there's lots of times where you can tell he wants to run but he sees that the girls aren't running so he'll stay which is really nice he's learning. You're so cute little buzz man. Such a cute boy. Hi Miss Autumn. You're so gorgeous. Just a beautiful babe. Alright guys, so I will talk to you later and I'll let you know how Angus does. Fingers crossed that he heals up well. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!